Welcome back to YouTube. We have a again from in-depth tech reviews. And in today's video, I'm going to show you three new Pixel 6 features that you can get on older Pixel models. That includes Gcam version 8.4, Google Photos with Magic Eraser, and the new Pixel 6 Live wallpapers. Before starting, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel to help me reach my first 100k subscribers, which is I'm really excited for. And I will always do my best to create the content you are interested in. So without further ado, let's take a look at the new Pixel 6 features. I will start with Gcam version 8.4. I have it installed on my Pixel 5 on the right side. And on the left, I have my Pixel 4a running Gcam version 8.3. The first difference is in the design of the shutter key. On the Pixel 5, the white circle in the middle is bigger. And you will also see a redesigned shutter key in each and every camera mode, except for videos. They are exactly the same. And when I switch to the front facing camera, a small circle will animate around it, which is similar to what we have seen in Samsung phones before and also other OEMs. The settings drop down arrow at the top now has a gear icon next to it, which makes it a little bit more descriptive. And if I'm using the normal camera mode, the settings icon will be replaced in case I have any special feature activated. In this case, I have auto night sight and that's why the same icon shows at the top once I turn off the feature, the gear icon will be back again. And that's exactly the case if you have the flash activated. Previously, it used to show the word flash on top of the viewfinder, which was a little bit hard to notice before taking your photos. So I think it's a little bit easier now. The portrait mode works exactly the same, but when you go to night sight, once the astrophotography feature gets activated, you will see its icon at the top. And when you use the normal night sight mode, so let me turn off the astrophotography on both. Now when you hit the shutter key, it will turn into a green color instead of the blue color like before. Another small change under the normal camera mode. Now when you expand your settings menu, you will see motion photos is now called top shot. Beside the design changes, we also got a couple of new features with 8.4. The first one is under advanced. Now there is a toggle called timer light. This feature will simply use the back camera flashlight to let you know once the photo is taken if you have the timer activated. It will start by flashing slowly and for the last couple of seconds it will flash a little bit faster. Let's go back to the main settings page and when you scroll down a little bit you will see a new toggle here called exposure. When you turn off the switch, the exposure sliders will no longer appear in the viewfinder. Next, Gcam version 8.4 now supports external Bluetooth microphones. So for example, here I have my Pixel Buds connected and when I expand my settings, there is a new item here called the microphone where I can choose between phone mic and Bluetooth mic. In this case, it will show you its name. Also, the icon at the top will let you know which one you are using. And in case your Bluetooth mic got disconnected, so I'm going to put my Pixel Buds back again in the case. It will show you a toast notification here saying Bluetooth disconnected, mic updated to phone, and when you expand your settings, the whole item disappeared now. When it comes to the difference in photo quality, I didn't test it yet. However, I'm planning to do so, and if I found anything interesting, I will create a separate video for this. Now let me show you how to install Gcam version 8.4 on older Pixel models. Step number one is to download an app from Google Play Store called Split APKs Installer. Once done, click the download link in the description below. It will take you to this page on my website with a section at the top called Pixel 6 Apps. The first app in the list is Gcam version 8.4. When you hit the button, it will take you to the mega website to download the package. And as you see, the package size is 332.7 megabytes. It's a big one, so make sure you have enough data allowance. Once you download the package, head over to the app we downloaded earlier and tap on install APKs. Choose any one of those. I'm gonna choose internal file picker and then head over to download and try to locate the file I downloaded. It's called Google Camera 8.4. Put a tick next to it, then tap on select. It will give you a confirmation before installing. Just hit install and you are good to go. The same process applies to all the apps I'm gonna talk about today in this video. So you can do exactly the same thing with Google Photos and Live Wallpapers. Now let's talk about the new Magic Eraser. And this is one of the most exciting features Google released with the Pixel 6. And it ended up to be available on older Pixel models without the need to have a Tensor chip. So here I have my Pixel 5 to show you how it works. I collected 27 different photos from my gallery with different scenarios to see how far it can go. So let's start with the simple one. In this shot, you can clearly see four people are standing over here and a couple more at the bottom right corner. All I need to do in this case is to tap on edit, then go to tools 
and tap on magic eraser, it will take 7 to 10 seconds to find suggestions for me automatically. And after it finishes, everything will be highlighted. So as you see here, it's very precise in highlighting people. I don't need to do this myself like third party apps, which is a huge time saver, especially if you are trying to remove multiple objects or people from the shot. Then you will see a button here called erase all. When you tap on it, it will remove everything in a second. But you still can use the manual mode because it says here at the top circle or brush to erase. So for example, in this case, it removed people, but it kept the towel. So if I want to remove it as well, all I need to do is to draw a circle around it. So I don't have to be precise and it will automatically detect the object and remove it for me. And that's a huge time saver. In this scenario, the feature worked perfectly well. And it's very hard for anyone to tell that this shot used to have people because the errors are very minor and hard to identify. Let me also show you some tips. So for example, let's say you want to return back to the original one. You can tap on reset and everything will be back again. If you don't want to remove everything at once, you can tap on individual items and they will be removed one by one. You can also undo any action you want using the arrows at the bottom, undo and redo. Plus, if you used one finger to navigate the photo, it will uh, use the brush instead. But if you want to navigate the shot you can simply use two fingers at the same time but you don't need to worry if you accidentally used the brush because you can simply use the undo button to revert back if you want once you're happy with the changes you can tap on done and in this screen you can tap and hold on the shot to see the original one and it will show you the word original here at the bottom so by this you can compare both here's another shot but this time i have much more people in the background so let's tap on edit and now I have magic eraser under suggestions, so I don't need to go to tools. And when I tap on magic eraser, it will take around 10 seconds. And now everything is highlighted. Imagine the number of people in this shot. If you have to do this manually yourself, it will take plenty of time. So I'm going to tap on erase all and look at how much cleaner the image now. The only thing it missed is this person. So let me use the brush to remove. And now it's gone but you will see some imperfections in this area also when i take a look at the boat this part doesn't look that great let's move all the way to the left and you'll see some stuff here that you can remove using the brush as well so it's not going to be perfect at the end of the day but you can make it a little bit better in my opinion it's much better than the other apps i tried like snapseed or touch retouch it's faster with a better quality and easier to use here is another shot and this time I have a goat that I'm gonna try to remove entirely. So let's tap on edit. This time I don't have magic eraser in the suggestions. So let's go to tools. And I'm not getting any suggestions as well. So my only option is to use the brush. So let's give it a try. Here's the circle. And it's now gone. But I still have a small part of the shadows here. So let's remove it as well. And as you see here, this shot is perfect and I'm really impressed with the results. And I found it to work well with electric cables, so I want to remove these cables from the shot. So let's tap on edit, then go to tools, magic eraser, give it a few seconds, and it automatically highlighted the cables for me, so I can tap on erase all, and they are now gone. Before ending this, let me show you a couple of scenarios that magic eraser struggles with. The first one is removing a car. Every time I do this, I get a huge black spot on the ground, and when I try to remove it as well, it doesn't look that great at the end. So I think it's a showstopper and I don't recommend this feature to remove cars. And here's the second scenario. It won't give you any suggestions in this case and you have to do it manually, which is going to take a long time and the results are not that great. Overall, I think Magic Eraser is a great addition to Google Photos. It's fast, easy to use with a good quality compared to other apps. Now let's talk about the new Pixel 6 live wallpapers and I do have one of them already set on my phone. I do really like how it looks especially with this new blur effect that you can set under the wallpaper and the style app. Now let me show you the other wallpapers you can choose from. So I will go to wallpaper and the style then change wallpaper and there is a new category here called bloom that includes two different choices. Each one will give you three different wallpapers that you can see how they look in the thumbnail. So let's go to the first one. To change the wallpaper, tap on the edit button and you will see three different choices. Here's the first one. Here's the second. And finally, the third. 
You can also apply a blur effect on the wallpaper using this slider, like this. The blur effect gets applied only to the top and bottom parts of the wallpaper, leaving the area in the center as it is. Now let's take a look at the other three wallpapers. Here is the first one. Here is the second. And finally, the third. The six wallpapers will become dimmer when you activate the dark theme, so let me show you how they look. It's also worth mentioning that all of them will animate when you tilt the device, also when you expand the notification shade or the app drawer. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the three new Pixel 6 apps I managed to get my hands on. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.